For two and a half decades, these ducks have flown south for the winter and at times stayed for the spring and called Anaheim, California home. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time, but boy, do they ever make a contribution. And that's why the other two-thirds, Doc, have to be important. Team game, hockey, that's exactly what it's all about. But when you have star players, those are the guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes in order to allow you to win hockey games. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. John Gibson gets the start. Native of Pittsburgh was only 20 when he broke into the NHL in the Stanley Cup playoffs with the Ducks. Like a lot of goalies, good size, 6'3", 210. Robin Leonard, a tall, hefty, yet quick goalie at 6'5", 240. Native of Sweden, originally drafted by Ottawa, has surpassed 200 games in the crease in his NHL career. The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. Anaheim's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. New York's looking up from mid-ice. Turned a shot on net. Got a piece of that one. In the slot. And yet another save. How does he do that? Anaheim's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Right in front. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Driving toward that net. Save there. The Ducks continue on in their own end. Carries it on in from center. Good shooting place. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. The Islanders leave their own end. One on one. A save. He did not buy the deke there. Shoots. And on top of that, another great stop. Pitching this one to Silverberg. Tries to get it on net. He hit the crossbar. Read that play in his own end. Now it's directed to Bailey. And he dumps it in. The Ducks hopefully shifting from defense to offense in their own end. Crosses that line. Has it picked up. Dogged determination there by Ladd. They gain the zone. They need a good choice here. And a save. Directing that one to Fowler. Around it again. At least he protected his goaltender. The Islanders waiting back in their own end. And in flight over the line. A shot. Oh, terrific save on a great chance. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs it. What a stop. Slid to Pulak. Slides it to the point. Centering pass. Great save. Puck is thrown to Ritchie. With a pace like this, you know the game will stay open. If there's no whistles, as there hasn't been, the game will open up and there'll be more chances as we go along. The breakaway. Got it all. Moving it to Henrique. Anaheim's along the wing at center ice. Great poke check there. Picks it up in his own end. And he gains the zone. Breaks free. He scores! Just before the period ends. Oh, the key, once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. The Islanders now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. 
New York's won that faceoff. Snapping a pass to Barzell. A shot. He saved it. Strong save. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. First period stats are final. We'll have some more entries as the second and third periods are forthcoming. New York's connected once, and that's the only goal. As we look at the shots on goal, it's hard to imagine there really were two teams in this game. It's lopsided. 11 for the Islanders and three for Anaheim. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. We are in the early stages of this game, about to begin the second period. Your thoughts on the first? The Ducks played the majority of the first period playing defense. Now they need to get some puck possession so they can get on the attack and score more goals. A hit that can make you mad. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. In deep trying to score. And coming up, we will see a penalty shot. Boy, the defending player really worked so hard to come all the way back. All he needed to do was take another stride or two. He might not have been called for the penalty shot on the tripping infraction. As we wait for him to take the puck at center, what drama building here. Rings it off the post. Another goal would go a long way to being able to take the foot off the pedal a little bit here, but the game stays close as this puck doesn't go in. New York's got that win. Just why? You can't score if you don't hit the net, Doc. Looking to Lindholm. Shoots one. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. Oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? What a save made all alone. Trying to go to Raquel. Is able to move on in. Terrific determination by Letty. Chip to Lee. With a shot. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. Goals have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Defensive zone win. Pass attempt to Silverberg. And he gains the zone. Quick wrist shot. Swept aside. New York skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Shoots one. Oh, and a great opportunity denied by that pass. Gains that offensive line. Gathered up again by Letty. Passing one off now to Bailey. Maybe can change the tide at center ice. Good defensive read with that one. Puts one on. Great glove save. Wrister from the slot. Save. Nice work by Bailey. Pitching it to Barzell. Gets in, looks over his options here. By himself. Punched away. A howitzer. And still another save. What a show. And another stop. Snaps one. Gloved. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. New York's have played well. They've not given up many shots. Their goaltender's going to have to fight a lack of inactivity as this game's tight. Clean win on the draw. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. You can hear both teams yell about that hit. One team trying to warn them, another team just celebrating the hit. Chooses the corner. A great wrist shot. Great save. The Ducks recoiling back in their own end. 
scooped up by Boychuk. Knocked off the puck. Richie's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Everly's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Ducks go on the power play for the very first time. Let's see if they can capitalize. New York's prevailed on another faceoff. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, come out even. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Routine save, but a save. Not enough to get it out. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. That was a tougher stop than a look. Leonard's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. Anaheim's got another win. Free puck thanks to the roadblock. Whistle is blown, and a man with guilt all over his face is going to the box. New York's got two on this one for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Anaheim special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Face off up. Oh, he'll pay for that. Enough said. Here they go. You got a couple of big human scrap in there. It's over with one last resounding punch, but what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty even throughout, but at the end, certainly you have to give the nod to the big puncher. Potentially a huge momentum shift here. The home team's won the fight. The crowd is now back in it. The Islanders win it. Gets that one on a cross. Anaheim's carrying it around through center. Let's a shot fly. May not have intended it, but it hit it. Puck free, roadblock by Philpola. One minute left. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Heaves one. 41 left to go. And the penalty killers come up big again. It's cleared. Solid work there by Fowler. The Islanders have killed off a long penalty. This Ottawa score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Oh, that was a critical goal. Now the game is tied, and we'll see who can get the upper hand in the next few minutes. The Islanders from the neutral zone start to work. Quick shot, deflected off the blocker. Two periods are in the books here. And the books could very well have some perspiration stains on it by now because these teams have worked pretty hard. But still, a third period is ahead. Two period shots on goal totals read like this. 19 for the Islanders and 12 for the Ducks. Now's your chance to play clean. Anaheim's got the strength going into this next period on the heels of the goal they scored late in this one that tied it. We'll be right back. And keep our city clean.
This is the third period, and this game is tied. That play goes offside. No team worth its name is going to let that go. And so we've got a fight, sort of. One has refused, but another steps in. That's going to build some team camaraderie. You love when a player sticks up for another. Five minutes apiece for fighting. The way they went, they should have gotten tan. Both those guys making their way over to the penalty box. They're going to get a chance to cool down for at least five minutes each. Oh, that was a grueling scrap. They're going to get a chance to rest for five minutes. prevail on the draw can start the attack going in the zone as that one measured at center and they are in snaps one in there pitching this one to Kessler skating up the center zone wing brings a shot great save in close a timely save that is tremendously tremendous couldn't do what he wanted. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Over four minutes skated here in the third. And so it is one to one. The Ducks get the draw. A shot. Score! Two straight goals. so long in a tied game now you've got the game breaking goal what do you do with it I think you attack you try to get another one or at the very least you don't let your opponent breathe Anaheim's broken the tie here in the third period let's see what happens before time expires the Islanders win the draw what's next and he steps in nice play with the stick nothing more will come let's it go Wonderful stop Four minutes, to Barzell. And now it's directed to Pavillier. Nicely received at the point. Didn't get through. The Ducks arrived between the blue lines. Nice work done with the stick there. Got in the way of that one. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what do you know? Perry's trying to change momentum. He feels the fight's going to do it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Tonight it did. Okay, Ray, let's see how it goes for him here. Anaheim's quick on the draw. Quick wrister. Wonderful chance to score, but no. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Wonderful save. Shooter was able to get a second opportunity, but the goaltender made a couple of stops. Just past halfway in the third period. Anaheim's done a wonderful job to get this tie broken. Let's we'll see if they can do better now. The Ducks, in their own end, lug that puck along. Steps in from the neutral zone. Score! Three in a row!
Murray's quick release was the key on scoring on that wrist shot. Well, that's a beauty, Edzo. That ripples the top of the net. The goaltender's got to be able to stay on his feet as long as he can if he's going to be able to stop such a perfect shot. Anaheim's gotten a huge goal. Now a little breathing room in the third period. The advantage is two, but the adrenaline will probably start to flow from the other side. And offside is called. The Islanders with a center ice face-off win. Directing that one to Boychuk. Steps across that line. Slot shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. Fantastic poke check. The Islanders want to generate something up the wing. It's dumped in. Solid rub out, no out of bounds in this sport. He followed through on that hit big time. That is a bone crusher. Intercepts that pass, maybe he can generate something. And he shoots one, good save. They continue to work away. Picks it up back there. New York's along the wing at center ice, alone. Grabbed. You can't ask for a better opportunity in the scoring zone. What a great glove save. Hard work, but it paid off. No ice. In the third period. And it's a good pickup. Went to the backhand. Oh, what a great block. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. We are in the 60th minute out of 60. The Islanders with a neutral zone possession along the wing. Good save there. The Islanders yank their goalie to try and get this back. I'm not so sure this is a very good gamble here. He shoots for the empty net from his own side of center ice. He could have banked this off the glass or made a pass and try and work the puck up the ice. Now the faceoff comes back to his end. Part of generating an offense, a little pass off from the goal. Driving in from no man's land. Drives ahead. He scores. Slowing the momentum. Gibson's not able to block this perfectly placed shot. It's just inside the goal post, almost unstoppable. The Islanders have done a great job of giving their fans hope. They fought back and cut the lead to just one. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. And he lets it go, and a save. He's got it. Buck is thrown to Lee. Heads along the boards. Shot. Score! And this one has been tied. Half the people were leaving. I think the goalie almost came by himself there. The coaches really didn't signal too much to him. But once he gets to the bench, they get the extra man on the ice and find a way to score. Anaheim's got that puck off the tie-up. Brister, solid glove save. Robin Lehner, time of the goal, 19 minutes, 53 
seconds. A tremendous back and forth through three periods. Perhaps a decision will come in sudden death overtime. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. New York's goal has forced the overtime period. Take a look at it one more time. Who will get the next one? We'll find out when overtime begins in a moment. Our scarf tonight is just 10 bucks. We have begun sudden death overtime. If no one scores in this next stretch, we'll be headed for a shootout. Piped in the slot. Score! Game over. Overtime winning goal. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. When it gets to OT, it seems like the smallest thing can happen and then go wrong for a team. In this case tonight, it went right for one. The little extra plays that make all the difference. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.